everyone. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, manifestation, but more specifically the motivation behind the manifestation. And this is going to be a very quick vlog. The message is really simple, but it's one that a lot of us just don't really pay attention to in our lives because we really haven't been taught these rules. But when we do learn them, they make total and complete sense. So I've been really wanting to manifest a lot in my life lately, um, obviously starting a new business and wanting to connect with all of you, wanting to serve, wanting to grow it, wanting to um, have a great income from it, etc, etc, etc. And I know everybody in their lives has things that they want to manifest for themselves. So it's really important to talk about um, this topic that I'm going to introduce to you now, and that's the motivation behind um, your pivoting to wanting to manifest something you desire. And so the best way for me to explain it is just to give you an example right now. So I say I'm trying to manifest money, for example, and I take a look at my life and I see a lack of money. So I say to myself, there's a blockage, there's something wrong, there's a lack, and I want to manifest money. So I'm going to manifest money now, and it's going to be really great. And the problem with that kind of thinking, which I was wrapped in for a while, and still kind of can phase into, is that you're actually coming from a vibration of lack when you are doing that. When you identify a problem... And then you go to, okay, well, what's the solution to that problem? It seems very, very logical, but that's only because we've been taught that kind of thinking. So when you identify the problem and look for the solution, you're coming from a place of lack. You are coming from a vibration that says, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. And the universe comes back and says, great, you don't have it. I'm not going to give it to you because that's what you've been asking me for. Um, however, when you come from a place of abundance and you say, okay, this is what I want in my life, uh, an abundance of free-flowing magical money. It's already here. Wow, great. And if this feels a little bit inauthentic to you, and the most important thing is to feel really good when you say this, start taking an inventory of things around you that you are so grateful for that are a form of abundance. So whether it's these flowers behind me or this beautiful home I get to live in, or my friends, start to identify areas of abundance that you can relate to. And from there, come from a place of abundance that says, I have this, it's already here, it's beautiful, and I call more and more and more of it into my life every single day. But the most important message through all of this is, ask yourself, am I coming from a place of lack, or am I coming from a place of abundance? And it will probably be pretty clear to you once you start to connect with the feelings. If you start thinking about, I'll use money again as an example, if you start to realize that when you're thinking about, I want a lot of money, I want a lot of money, I'm trying to manifest a lot of money, and when the feeling that um, is with it is one of sort of lack and, and telling you that you don't have money and that you need to go out and get it, that money is not coming to you. But when you start to identify areas in your life that you're already completely wealthy, and when you are grateful for that five cents in your bank account, you come from a place of abundance, and therefore you can call that much more abundance into your life. So again, super important, I'll repeat it. When you're trying to manifest, please ask yourself, am I coming from a place of lack or am I coming from a place of abundance? And that's going to make all the difference. So power to you. Good luck on your abundance and manifesting journey. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.